what's up y'all i'm in a deep dive around ai and i think we all need to be in a deep dive around ai because it's here and i want to remind us that it is another piece of technology born out of a very specific imagination the imagination of white men i'm sitting here listening to the founder and ceo of OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT. Guess what it does? You will never guess what it does. It says wrong things like it's right. <laughs> it literally just makes guesses and says them with authority. I wonder how it learned to do that. Hmm. <laughs> literally, they've created a piece of technology that talks to you like a white man. And it's funny, the woman who's interviewing him called it the drunk frat guy. And I was like, it's not the drunk frat guy. It's white male socialization. It's the socialization of patriarchy and whiteness. And now we've created supercomputers that do the same thing. I also want you to know that this was co-created and who sat on the board was Elon Musk. And it started off nonprofit. And then, of course, they had to make it some sort of hybrid for-profit entity in order to raise the $1 billion that it was going to cost to develop this, right? So I just want you to already see the ingredients in the cake. I've talked about this before. You can't take out an ingredient once you've already baked the cake. We are baking capitalism. We are baking patriarchy. We are baking whiteness into super computers who can mimic all of the knowledge-based abilities and functions of humans. We've baked it into a device that will magnify that thinking. AGI, artificial general intelligence, means a computer that is as smart and can do anything that a human can do. Singularity is when the computer now can do everything better than a human can where it supersedes the capabilities of humanity. Incomprehensible technological power. What he said, though, that had me be like, this is, <laughs> this is why we're fucked, is he said, the benefit of this technology is, right, it's like, what does it mean to have someone that'll do everything it is that you want to do and all the dredge work happily all day long, 24 hours a day? And I was like, you want slaves! That's literally what you want! In his, in his imagination, we all want that. We all want slaves. We all want something that will do everything we don't want to do happily all the time forever. The conception of slavery didn't begin with whiteness. But the structuralization, the building of entire world models on it? If we'll be generous, it seems to have been perfected in the white male imagination. Yeah, I want us to understand that impulse as an inherently disconnecting impulse. It is an impulse born in othering. It's an impulse that says, you thing over there are beneath me. Because if you weren't beneath me, then I would recognize that it's just my job to do the things. And sometimes those things aren't fun, right? Sometimes it's just my job to do the things. If I didn't see someone else as the person who should have to do that instead of me, or the entity that should have to do that instead of me. We build things to help us. But the idea that we want those things to get as close to sentient as possible. This is Westworld. We want to build a thing as close to human that we can exploit. Because that's what's inside white supremacist delusion, hetero, ableist, capitalist patriarchy. And so I want you to explore inside of yourself. Where do I just want a slave? And what does it mean in the system of bodily hierarchy, what does it mean inside of a construct of marginalization that I want a slave and that we keep trying to build things to figure out how to reinstitute the dynamics of slavery? I think it's a thing for us to be thinking about post-haste.